What is up, my squirrel lights? It is I, your king, back with more Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we went through more of Seven um, Island, and hopefully this time we'll finally finish it. Anyways, we got another trainer over here. There's an item ball down there that uh, we need to get. There's a bunch of items that I haven't gotten because of Rock Smash and stuff, and that I, you know, neglected. I'll be getting those all, like, at the very, very end, and, like, a quick montage or whatever. And then, um, like, right before the Elite Four, just trying to grab everything I can all at the last minute. But, yeah, I will get them just to show what they are. Anyways, Primate. Oh, whatever. Shut up. You did not survive that. You li you're you lying to me right now. This seismic toss didn't happen. You're dead. Stop. Stop it. You're lying. You're not even here right now. I'm burning nothing because there's nothing there. You're dead. You're the, the... What I'm referring to is dead. This this That Primate that we were fighting. Remember that Primate? Yeah. Yeah, that Primate? Yeah, I remember that thing. It, it's gone. It's dead. Freaking hit on top. This thing will survive a flamethrower. I'm almost sure of it. I'm going to use Sunny Day. Ah, perfect timing, too, because I would have just wasted my PP with the freaking Detect. Hate that move. It's only useful in double battles. Then again, well, Protect, actually, I think, wasn't Detect, um, and Protect, well, no, maybe they were both in, introduced in Generation 3. Yeah, so I guess that does make sense, because, again, they're, they're very, um, double battle oriented. I hate them when they're used in single battles, though, because then it's just like, well, we're just wasting PP really all we're doing. Alright, well, whatever. I was expecting you to have a Hitmonlee or Hitmonchan, but then again, whenever one of them has a Hitmonchan, they always have to have a Hitmonlee at the same time, so... <sighs> Can't have one without the other, so I guess not. Anyways, Flare's now level 59, and check it out. Base stats of 100 across the board. I think he's the first Pokemon to get to that, right? Let's actually make sure. I just want to make sure, because I, I, think, I think she is. Let's see. Alright, uh, Flare has it. Bastaran does not. Oh, Sugar Ray also had that, but all of his stats are equally pretty low um, in comparison. And um, Bastaran will definitely be the next one to do that. Um, man, good job, Flare. Flare is currently our most powerful member of our team. Fluffy's probably second, actually, considering how high his physical and special attack are at the moment. This is not a trainer, I believe. Oh, it is! Wow! It's just surprising me because usually the way I recognize trainers is ones that aren't moving around freely. Unless they're moving in like a set pattern. Whatever. Oh, good thing I have a bass around out front. Right on. There you go. This will go down super easy. Surf it up. And will he get to level 60 with this? Actually, I think he will. Or 60. What am I talking about? 58. There we go. Yep. Level 58. Alright, and the next is, still doesn't have 100 across the board. Next, we're going to switch to Gekigami, our lowest level team member. But shouldn't be after this slow bro, right? No, he's got another 2 or 3 Pokemon before he levels up. Alright. Kill it with Thunder! Goodbye. Oh, Thunder, how I love thee. You know, you always, um, it is kind of weird having, um, two moves of the same type on any Pokemon, or on any Pokemon, like, two same type attack bonus moves. I mean, it seems kind of pointless, but it makes sense for Electro types, because they can't learn any other special attacks. Electric's a great type, but that's my biggest beef with it, is that any, I mean, any and all pure Electric types can't learn any electric moves, I mean, any special moves aside from electric attacks, and it bothers the heck out of me. It just really gets on my freaking nerves that that's the case. I mean, it's sort of the case with fire types, I mean, some fire types too, but not as much as the electric types. Almost all pure electric types can only use electric moves as special attacks, and it's so stupid. It's the worst part about that type. Again, it's a good type. Jeez, that's a that's a major flaw with the type. Is that they just can't find any other moves for him. Alright, goodbye, Ursaring. And next is a Kangaskhan. We'll try to break, break this thing to death, too. But Kangaskhan are powerful, so... This is... Actually, I think this guy is by far the most powerful trainer we've seen on the island. Considering how, the number of Pokemon he has and, the Poke and what kind of Pokemon they are, too. Don't confuse. Okay, thank you. Endure. Endure isn't even... Well, Endure is not a waste of PP because we do actually do damage on it, but... Still. Freaking annoying. That's all it is. Just don't miss. Okay. So one problem with Rock Slide is that it has a chance of missing. Alright. 
more experience. And last but not least is my choke. So let's use Aerial Ace on this guy and kill it in two hits, probably. Oh, 48, guessing. Yeah, I was right. All right. Such an accomplishment. Get out of here. Or I should have used Fly. I should have used Fly. <laughs> wow. Oh, my freaking luck. Whatever. Get out of here. Stupid. Well, there we go. Yeah, that guy did kind of a number on my team. At least on Shrew you he did. Alright, down we go. Another trainer? Yep, yep, yes it is. Okay, but she's probably just just like the last guy, five Pokemon I'm bet I'm betting. Let's see. Yep, she does. Persian. Alright. Um, I'll just use Surf. Just cuz. Best round's main move. Yes. Oh, critical hit. That helps. Definitely. I don't know if it would have taken it out originally. Probably would have, though. The 11 level difference. Alright, Dugong is next. Gekigami will probably hit level 58 by taking this thing out with a Thunderbolt. Yeah, he will. Sweet. I'm very okay with that. Alright, get out of here. Um, by the way... Okay, so this reminds me of the Elite Four when we fight them the second time. I think I think their Pokemon are in the high 60s, low 70s. I think that's about right. So I'm going to be doing more um, off-screen training to, to uh, fight them once we get around to the point where we will fight them. They, they will be the last three videos. We won't be doing anything else after we fight them again. Um, that Those will be the last videos, or those. So we will be taking care of everything else that we have left to do before fighting them. I promise you that. So, um, just, just so you're aware, if I miss something and I start taking on the Elite Four, you need to yell at me, okay? And I'm and I'm not talking about showing stuff that has to do with links and stuff like that, you know, linking and trading and two, the multiplayer and all that crap. None of that. No, no, no. I just mean stuff that I have been otherwise stated that I am intentionally missing. I need to be told and yelled at over if I do forget to do them before I start taking on the Elite Four. So basically, when I get to the video and I say at the end, right, in the very next video we're going to be taking on the Elite Four, everyone yell at me if I miss something. Alright. Uh, oh, crap, that's right, this is a normal Psychic type, so Shadow Ball has no effect on it. Shoot. Uh, let's try a Hyper Beam, because I got eight levels on it, so let's see. It is a pretty good defensive Pokemon, but I don't know. Come on. Come on. Yeah! <laughs> there you go. That works too. There's always a backup plan. I love my team. Alright. Half a beam. Alright, now in here we're about to get a, a move, or something that is very unique. Right here. Leave I found one lucky punch. Give this to a chance to double its physical attack, which is pretty useless considering you don't ever use it offensively anyway. It's got cra such bad physical attack that, that even doubled isn't that great. Anyways, so yeah, uh, I guess I will. Sure, why not? Let's see what this does. And it heals our team. Yep, <laughs> there was a point to that. All right, well, we're all chipper now. Lucky, sweet. Okay, well, that was useful. Now let's keep going south. That is the equivalent to a center, I guess. And right here, Tenobi Ruins. We're gonna. Do I have an extra pal even up? No, I didn't. All right. Well, we have one now. Water's died of deep blue. Let's surf. And remember that cave back there um, that I did? Well, actually, it was in the last video. That opened up these places. Let's go inside. Dilford Chamber. These are, these are, um, this is one of several different chambers that are scattered throughout through the Tenobi Ruins. In here, the only thing you can catch are unknown, and they are all of different letters that can be caught in these chambers. That's it. Unknown is a... I mean, it's not good for using in battle because all it can learn is hidden power, but it's very unique and very cool, I guess. You know, it has a lot of, you know, mystery behind it and stuff like that, so that's kind of cool. But, um, aside from that, that's the only thing you can catch in these chambers. But the one thing that is of note is in the water here, you can find Mantine, which is an awesome Pokemon from Johto. Um, great special defense and whatnot. Um, it's a water flying type, so electric types will destroy it, but other than that, it's really good. Anyways, there are some. There are also some trainers out here that we can take out. We're gonna take on all of them. 
before we end the video, I promise you, even if we do have to go over 20 minutes. Alright, so this will go down really easily because Smeargle stinks. Goodbye. And, ew, that's a lot of experience. Yeah, thanks. Might get in trouble for being noisy. What are you, is this, a, this isn't a library, it's the middle of the freaking ocean. Whatever. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's not like you're disrespecting anything out here, whatever. Alright, well, this guy's got a lot better stuff, so... He'll at least be worth the fight. I mean, you know, I guess she was worth the fight for the money, but not for the experience, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> that 11,000 experience was not worth one PP. Alright, Golduck. Uh, uh, I should have switched out, actually, but I'll see what Bite can do. Crap. <laughs> well... Whatever. Just bite it to death. Keep hope it flinches maybe once. No? Okay, just don't confuse Bassaran. Please. It's amazing how how like often confusion doesn't confuse. It's like a ten percent chance when its name is the name of the attack is literally confusion. So it like implies more than anything that it should almost always confuse, but it doesn't. It's weird. Confuses so little. Anyways, so yeah, this is another chamber, a different um, letter, unknown, because unknown, they're all shaped into the letters of the alphabet, and exclamation point and question mark as well, so that's what makes them unique. Um, this guy, this is not any, this chamber isn't any more special than all the others, it's just bigger for whatever reason. Alright, so this guy's a ruin maniac. Of course we'd find one of those, those guys out here, because these are the Shinobi ruins after all. And he's got rock types, I'm just going to go down easily to my surf. Power of water. And Vassaran should level up now. Well, actually, it's a Judy, so I don't know. Nope, still short. Alright, well, this will do it. Come on. Uh, I'll just use Ice Beam on you, because why not? Holding a Never Melt Ice, after all. Goodbye. And your special defense is terrible. Alright. Level 59. And Bassaran is also 100 across the board now on his stats. And then last... Oh, I was hoping for a golem. Why another Graveler? Really? You totally could have a golem right now. That's just stupid. Ugh. Losing, missing out on a lot of experience, if it, you know, for the fact that it's not a golem. Dumb. Whatever. Ugh. Goodbye. Benjamin. And... I believe, okay, so this is the edge of this side. There's also the other side we can go to, and I, there might be more trainers over that way. If there are not, uh, we're going to check out the last portion of Seven Island, and then I will end the video, all right? So there's no trainers up there, so dang it, don't go onto the surface, the land, the ground, the, the sand. All right, what I want to do is go all the way over this way. All the way. Look for another trainer. There's one. Uh, this is probably another Ruin Maniac. Anything about the Stone Chamber? I do not! Well, actually, I know plenty about it, but I don't know exactly which unknown are in it. <laughs> That's completely irrelevant to the question you just asked, but okay. Sorry, sir. Anyways, Onyx. Wow, this is going to go down fast. Goodbye. Should have used Hydro, Hydro Cannon for Overkill, because Overkill is fun sometimes. It's just like, I'm going to literally put you within an inch of your life. <laughs> Frick talking about it was uncalled for. I didn't use Hydro Cannon like I said I was. Jeez. Now that would have been uncalled for. It would have actually been kind of funny because that would have been his text afterwards and I would have laughed. Well, that's the last of the trainers here. Um, again, they're just unknown in size, so there's nothing of note to get in there. Um, the unknown do have different um, appearance rates, though, so if you want to get all of the um, unknown of different, like, of all, all the letters of unknown or something, uh, you're gonna have to, it takes a lot of work, because some of them only have, like, a 5%, um, appearance rate and whatnot. Also, um, actually, I do believe that that one island was special, the Chinobi Chambers, um, but I still think it's just unknown in there. I don't think there's anything more to it. I think it's just bigger. That's all. Anyways, last part of Seven Island is up here in the north, and there are trainers here. Um, Trainer Tower is up here. Trainer Tower acts, I believe, exactly like the Battle Tower does. Um, if not like the Battle... I, I think it does. I think it acts exactly like the Battle Tower does. 
um, in Ruby Sapphire and then uh, in the Battle Frontier in Emerald. Um, and if not, it acts like the um, the tower that's right next to the Winstreet family's house in Emerald. I totally forget what that one's called. Um, but either way, all it is is basically you just fight trainers over and over trying to get to the top, and you get a reward for getting to the top. So that's really all there is to it. And you can fight it over and over, and you, the trainer gets stronger the more you battle, you challenge it. Alright, uh, Drowsy, can you just die? Just die. Uh, we're not actually going to be taking on Trainer Tower. I'm not going to be showing that off. Um, mostly because, well, you need to design a team around it, but really, that kind of mechanic would be better left for when I actually do a Ruby Sapphire or Emerald Let's Play. Um, which I will do, okay? I have decided that if I ever do a Pokemon Let's Play again, I promise you that, I mean, I might do a Johto one as well, but I promise you I will do an, um, a Hoenn one in the future, just because that's my favorite generation. Hands down. And I really want to do a Battle Frontier guy. That'd be just so cool. Because no, not many people do that. Especially um, casual Pokemon Let's Players like myself. So that would be really cool. And plus, I um, pride myself on being one of the very few people. I've, in fact, I have never met anyone else who's done it. Uh, I pride myself on having gotten gold symbols on every single one of the facilities in the Battle Frontier in Emerald. It took me a while, but I found the perfect team for it. And it was pretty awesome, and I can't wait to show off that team. Because I do have it memorized. I mean, I do have the team and the moves and every, all the natures and everything memorized. So I'll definitely show that off when we get to it. But that might not be years from now, so I, I should probably hush about it. Because I don't plan on doing another Pokemon Let's Play anytime soon. Anyways... Dario is down, and we got Bastion way more experience than necessary, because he is um, getting up there, ter there to level 60, when we still have Pokemon level 58. Whatever, guys, um, I think with that we are done with this video. Um, I'm not sure if there are trainers on this C route here. There might be... No, there are not. Okay. Um, trainer Tower is up right here. Okay. And I, like I said, I will not be taking it on. So, in the next video, um, we are actually going to be heading over to... Cerulean City, alright? So get excited for that. Um, there is actually something awesome we're going to be doing there. But for now, with that, this has been the Squirtle King. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe if you have not already. Also, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And don't forget to check out my Twitter and my Facebook page. Links are all in the description below. I will see you guys next time for more Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green.